Hello and welcome to the Dynamic Asteroids introductory video. I'm just going to introduce what this tutorial is about and see how you can get Dynamic Asteroids inside your video games. Let's go ahead and add some more asteroids here. Now you'll notice that asteroids are all the same size but we're gonna dynamically alter all these graphics and randomly in the game. Now you'll notice all the asteroids are are different sizes, they're going different directions, they're going different speeds, and the animation is playing at different speeds. Let's go ahead and shoot the small asteroid. It's destroyed just like any normal game. Let's shoot this one, it's a little bit larger and see what happens. Took a couple more hits than the other one and it split in different directions. This is all done in game and the game takes a look at the size of the asteroids and determines whether it's big enough to split. Looks like this one might be and it plays the animation or explosion accordingly a larger ad explosion or a smaller explosion let's go ahead and add another asteroid to the mix a much larger piece of debris floating through space this debris is much different than our little asteroids if I shoot this it's indestructible but we get some effects of debris that happen when I shoot the asteroids. Pretty cool. Also, the asteroids, the smaller ones, will interact with the bigger one. They'll explode big or small, and sometimes, if they're big enough, the small asteroids will split upon hitting the bigger asteroid. Again, this is just an introductory video. It'll be much easier to learn if you download the file and take a look at it. These graphics that are included are copyrighted to be used for this tutorial only. Let's take a look at our asteroid. I'm using various variables to get the size and to get the, the animation effect. Let's take a look at transforming the sprite which is in charge of changing the size of the asteroid. Instead of using a number such as random random one let's say I use a variable called new size instead now you could variables can be named whatever you want you can name it cheeseburger and I do that so when it randomly is created the asteroid is not skewed it's not taller than it is wider and therefore it can be any size and not look funky so I, I like using variables instead of numbers um, this is also with the fading effect of the rock chunks that come off the big debris. I use a variable called fade me. Again, you can call it whatever you want. And in the step event, I slowly fade the asteroid away when it is created, thus getting that effect off shooting the larger asteroid. This tutorial also has a ship that I've quickly put in here to demonstrate this, and you can learn from the coding and how the ship works and gravity and momentum on that when you load the tutorial. I hope this is useful for you.